The Seattle City Council could soon silence the sound of gas-powered leaf blowers. Today, a committee moved forward a plan to essentially ban them in the city by 2027. And King 5's Erica Zuko is live in studio now with us with the details. Erica. Madison and Steve, a lot of people complain about the noise and air pollution from gas-powered leaf blowers. City data shows complaints about them dating back to 2004, and a sponsor for this plan says that council has received hundreds of calls. Still, there are questions about what it would cost and what it would mean for businesses who still use them. A strongly worded warning in Seattle City Council's Sustainability Committee. Fall is coming. The season of falling leaves is coming and with it the harmful sound, the toxic fumes and the filthy debris of these terrible machines. As council member Alex Peterson proposed a plan to ban gas powered leaf blowers, they've been the object of ire for some Seattleites since a decade ago. My decibel reader shows this machine peaking into the 90s. When a pitch to drop the power tools gains some steam. They're loud. <laughs> and they waste a lot of energy. But didn't make the cut. Landscapers like Clean Air Lawn Care say since that time, electric leaf blowers have gotten much better, allowing them to shift over entirely. The city may soon do the same. Peterson's proposal aims to shift city leaf blower fleets from gas to electric by 2025 and move residents and businesses over by 2027. It was met by some passionate support, including some calls to ban all leaf blowers. My main grievance is their threat to wildlife. Blowers frighten birds and beneficial insects. Landscapers will still have jobs, healthier ones. No one has ever uttered the words, bring that gas blower over towards me. City staff say the main concerns here are localized air pollution and the impacts of noise to workers and residents. Concerns Council Member Peterson says he believes push this issue under Council's purview. So no word yet on exactly how the ban portion would be enforced or the overall cost involved. Full Council will likely take up this issue in the beginning of September. Back to you.